All right, so Sage, I'm at the uh, big box the other day getting some material, mm -hmm. and they told me this is a one by six, and I was looking at it. That's not quite six, and that's not quite one. What am I missing here? Okay, so this is a common thing that we all run into, and this is one of the things you know that video we did on metric versus yep. imperial. Uh, it this is one of those things that's the toughest thing to convert to metric and this is not all going to be about metric today but everybody was saying hey and all the different countries were chiming in oh yeah i've been using metric my whole life but the building materials that are sourced out are in imperial gotcha okay and the other confusing thing is what you just said that's a one by six it's actually three quarter i'm going to bring it into imperial okay three quarter at five and a half inches. So when you're building out something, that's how you have to look at it. Oh, okay. That's called nominal dimension. The nominal. Yeah. The, what I call actual or uh, critical is the exact dimension. Okay. Okay, I did a few things like this is a two by four. Is that really a two by four? <laughs> Ooh, that's a really whoop. No, it's a one and a half by three and a half. And that's something you learn in the building trade. And I did a little bit of research on it uh, a few years ago. When people used to, in the old days, it's more of a historical reference where oh. it was harvested at two and four green, and then it would be dimensioned down. So it gets milled down. It gets milled down. Okay. And right. that's what I have learned over the years. Huh. But it's still called a two by four. This is a two by six. And look, look, there's that six. It's actually, what, five and a half. Mm -hmm. What I did today is I marked it because I'm starting to use, like I said, this is 88, uh, and I think the two, or the uh, two is 38 millimeter, okay? And this is 140. And I've started to actually look at this board. If I go and get it at a big box store, it's 140 millimeters. So when I do my calculation, say I'm building a top or something, I'm just putting something quick together. Huh. That's how I measure. Okay. So you said 140, huh? And guess what? <laughs> That's why people get really, really confused in the trades here in the US because we have to go and source this in Imperial, right? but then also work with what? Nominal versus actual. Okay. It can be wicked confusing. There's a few tools that I use when I look at stuff like this. I always have a calculator when I'm doing stuff. I have my folding ruler and I have this for thickness, my uh, vernier caliper. Okay, and, and, and I have it set where I can do it in fractional, but I can also do it uh, in metric. Now, I'm gonna throw one more in there because we're talking about just really, actually two more. This is some quick building material at uh, the big box. But then you're gonna go, or we're gonna go to a couple of lumber yards for hardwoods. Nice. Okay, and we're gonna start looking at different species of woods. And have you ever heard eight quarter, four quarter? Yes, I have. Six quarter, that's your rough sawn thickness. Okay. So, do you know what they mean by eight quarter? Eight quarters, two inches. Okay, Cause so cause eight, quarters, eight inch. quarters, and that's what gets really confusing. And then you have to calculate when you're looking at a project, or you'll see a project, oh, they calculate in what is known as board feet. Um, My denominator on that is 144. So what that, when, when somebody measures something out in board feet, it's a board foot is one inch thick wood, okay? by 12 by 12 that's one board foot so you have to calculate like oh, that okay and over time i'm going to teach you in projects how to calculate board feet because that's a, how everybody looks at stuff here in the u.s but then we're gonna have to do what convert Get, it we'll do some conversions <laughs> now years and years and years ago i used to see and let's go to plywood right now because that's the that's the second one of the things i wanted to talk about uh plywood here in the states is sold four by eight four foot by eight foot mm -hmm. but it's not really four footed There's, they give you a little bit more they calculate for ripping off uh, the factory edge but also kerf cutting uh, the kerf of your blades and stuff like that so they always give you a little bit more okay and what w you and i are going to do is we're going to get used because we build in metric for accuracy and yes i love the millimeter for that <laughs> we're going to be working with four by eight sheets but we'll, i'll be doing conversions with you in millimeters on that okay because we we're going to be building a lot of frameless cabinets but here's the point i really want to get across 
I don't want you ever to go out and buy what they call, a, for router bits, undersized plywood bits. Okay, because guess what? This is what I have found out. Those bits are all metric bits. Oh. Because when you look at the thickness of this, and when you order plywood, you order four by eight by three quarter, right? Right. Well, this isn't three quarter. No, Sorry, it's, <laughs> it's 18 millimeter. And what you go and get, and I've never had this situation, you go in that undersized plywood router bit kit, okay, whether you're grooving with it, or you're dadoing or rabbiting with it, that bit that says 23 30 seconds, when you measure it with your vernier caliper, it's actually 18 millimeters. Huh. Okay, so it, it's kind of interesting. I just source out 18 millimeter bits, 12 millimeter bits. Okay, for what? Half inch. Yep. Okay, and that the majority of the time in cabinetry, that's pretty much all you need. I use uh, we use the six millimeter bit for what? Uh, the groove for the um, the bottoms. The back. The back of board. That's yeah, right. the back of the cabinets. Right. Okay, but everybody calls that a quarter inch bit. No, it's a, actually a six millimeter bit. And that ply was actually six millimeters. So I just wanted to cover that with you because this can be really confusing when we talk about going to get our materials, okay? Getting the actual material, nominal versus actual. Right. But also you and I will be converting a lot and I can but see really truly where it's been confusing or can be confusing. I just wish we could walk into that big box and see everything in metric. So there you go. And as we always say, be positive and stay sharp.